The Bosch 800 series dishwasher has their new power control spray arm, controlling the intensity of the wash and their crystal dry drying system using volcanic elements. But we want to know if these features actually work. We tested the Bosch along with four other popular dishwashers by loading them all with baked on pots and pans, fine china, caked on sports bottles, glasses with chocolate syrup, and Tupperware stained with red sauce. Stay to the end to see how this dishwasher did in our tests and how it stacks up against other dishwashers we tested, like the Mealeg G7000 series, as well as LG's steam dishwasher, the new GE Profile, and the Beko with its Ion Guard and Corner Intense Wash. First, let's take two minutes to break down these key features, and then we'll look at our test results. All premium Bosch dishwashers have good rack flexibility with the adjustable nine position Rackmatic rack and a third rack for silverware. You have Aquastop for leak protection, which uses sensors to detect overflows and shuts off the water. First, the 800 series is super quiet at 42 decibels, so you won't hear it in an open kitchen while you're watching TV in your living room, or even if you're just standing in the kitchen. The 800 series has plenty of cycles. You can even customize your own using Bosch's Home Connect app. Let's talk about the two main improvements. First, power control. Power control allows you to control the intensity of the spray on the bottom rack by dividing it into quadrants and then giving you the ability to customize the intensity of the spray to be either light, normal, or heavy in any given quadrant so you can wash baked on lasagna dishes and fine china at the same time. We'll see if this is worth the hype later in the video. Crystal Dry uses zeolite volcanic elements to increase the heat and absorb moisture. It supposedly works even on less dense items like plastics. Don't worry, we put this feature to the test as well and we'll let you know how it works. Bosch is one of the most reliable dishwashers on the market at 5.1% service in the first year, based on over 34,000 real service calls logged by our service department just last year. That's about half of the industry average and second only to LG at 3.5%. What Bosch doesn't have is a detergent dispenser like Mila's 20 load auto dose dispenser. It doesn't have steam like LG or the dedicated bottle washes of Beko or GE to wash the gunk out of your taller sports bottles. But does any of that really matter? Mila has the best washing system with three full spray arms and their unique auto dispenser. The Bosch came in second to Mila in our tests, even with the power control spray arm. But then again, the Mila does cost over $2,000, which is $700 more than the Bosch. In our tests, we found that the Bosch was able to clean every type of dish and piece of silverware, from stained Tupperware to the dried on dinner plates. Where Bosch had trouble was with the pan that had burned eggs on it. Although no dishwasher was able to clean those pans thoroughly in our tests, Milo's wash cycle cleaned it the best. Bosch was a close second and did a good job cleaning the sports bottles, even without the dedicated bottle sprays, which was interesting. Bosch's results were by far the best for drying with the crystal dry drying system. It only left a bit of moisture on the rims of the plastic Tupperware. Mila was second. They have two ports for air at the bottom of their dishwasher, allowing air to come in and dry. The hot air is dissipated as water and then drained. The Bosch costs $13.49, depending on when you buy it. And it's a good, less expensive alternative to the $2,000 Mila. Although the Mila was better for washing and racking. However, LG, GE, and Beko are all interesting alternatives to Bosch and they cost two to $400 less. If you wanna learn more about Mila and their systems and how they fared in our tests, then click this link and thanks for watching.